All right, here we go. Question number four from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. We have an absolute value equation. The instructions say solve. So over here in this window, we're going to look at how to solve a double absolute value. The first step is to copy and paste and leave it exactly the same. We're going to have 3x plus 4 equals x minus 11. You're also going to want to recopy this again. 3x plus 4 stays the same. But on the other side, you're going to have negative x minus 11. Now here's why we set it up this way, okay? We know that an absolute value is always positive. So if the uh, stuff inside on both sides is equal, like for example, if 3x plus 4 is 9 and x minus 11 is 9, then we know that 9 equals 9 is true, okay? But we also know, if you set this up, if this becomes uh Let's see, if this becomes 9 and this becomes negative 9, that would also be true because the absolute value would make both of those positive 9. And so that's exactly why we have to consider the fact that that stuff inside could also be negative. Okay? So this is how you set up the double absolute value. Now we're going to proceed to solve. Moving the x this way and the 4 this way. That's going to give us 3x minus x. That's going to become negative 4 minus 11. And then combine like terms, 3x minus x, that's a 2x. Two negatives make a bigger negative when you combine them. That's negative 15. And divide both sides by 2. We get x equals negative 15 halves, and you do want to leave that improper. Let's leave that effed up. Leave it fractioned up. Now, for the other equation, the first step is to distribute the negative. That's going to give us a 3x plus 4 equals negative x plus 11. And then we're going to bring the negative x this way and the plus 4 this way. Okay? So that's going to give us 3x plus x. Remember that was negative x coming over makes it a plus. The plus 4 becomes minus 4 plus 11. Combine like terms. 3x plus x, that is a 4x. Negative 4 plus 11, that's going to be 7, I think. Let me use my handy dandy calculator just to check and make sure. Negative 4 plus 11 makes 7. And divide both sides by 4. And this is also going to be improper. 7 fourths. So there's our two solutions. Let's check in my lab math and see if we're right. Negative 15 halves, comma, 7 fourths. There you go. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.